Hello and welcome back to Martian Carnival. It is Steve and yeah. I was thinking actually after I recorded the last video. I'm recording this episode on Thanksgiving. So November 22nd in the US. Um, trying to figure out where to go from here. Because essentially we now have sandbox mode unlocked for this game. We have a stupid amount of money. And... Of course, this episode being recorded on Thanksgiving, we actually have not heard back from Paradox because, well, I haven't told Paradox that the game's broken yet. Uh, that video has not been released yet. It's set to come out on Friday. But we now have a unique opportunity to do essentially whatever the hell we want. I think I'm okay if I just do 30. And a bunch of drones. Um, eh, I'll prefab a polymer factory. I'll just load it up. So it really becomes an option of what the hell do we want to do? Research-wise, let's take a look at that. We're almost done with a hive mind. So our colleges are going to be super, super awesome. Um, I need to get diamond architecture or oval architecture. I need to get a dome with two spires. Um, if I'm going to keep going through this one. Researching a bunch of little stuff as well. We're going to be outsourcing for the rest of the game because why the hell not? We got the cash. Let's uh, put this up back up to full. Um, check out the anomalies that we have on the planet. We don't. Uh, Europe's got good. Good, good. We're doing excellent with Japan, which I like. And getting that excellent with Japan is what... Uh, Kind of blew everything up the way it did. Oh, damn it. I could have brought down a hell of a lot more than 30. All right. Where are you, buddy? All right. So we have some extra research, including a breakthrough in Sector A1. We also have some flat research in I0 and J1. I'm going to wait until we get to the MDSs before I pop those because research I want them to be going to the, most, to the most coolest things. So Hive Mind's now active. I have no idea what this is going to do. Oh, wait. Oh, a renegade, eh? Hmm. We have to have a few in the colony. Zero tourists, five renegades. Wowza. Um, is this... Uh, no renegades. No, we have a renegade in here, but we have a security station, so I'm actually going to open these slots up to kind of fully counter them. Um, what's missing in this dome for folks? Um, gaming. We need a gaming building, so let's build... Ooh, I know what I can do. Since this game allows for small things... Damn it, I wanted a small electronic store. But they're going to need an actual full electronic store. Because that'll do shopping and gaming. got concrete going here. Um, that is a rocket. I think that's a trade rocket for the Russians, I believe. Alright, so we have Algeria 1 operational. You are out of rare metals. That's a problem. We got plenty. Let's uh, do some maintenance around the domes while we're waiting for this rocket to come in. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah, you're first. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Right. Now, let's put some of these depots down that we need. So we need. I don't really need a metals depot. Um, yeah, looks at that. And this is a bunch of prefabs. I'll probably send another rocket back to Earth with uh, rare metals, just because I can, and I am one evil, evil bastard. Okay, concrete's there. Rare metals here. Polymers. We need to build a polymers factory in this area. Electronico. Machine parto.
Ouch, I actually cannot put it in here. Whoopsies. Oh, derp. Could just put it right there in between them and get people from both domes to come out and work it. Yeah. I do want to have another polymer factory to produce more, because this is the only one I got right now, and it would be nice to do more. Yeah, I'm going to allow one more export just to fully break the game. I'll wait till he puts like 10 or 15 on board, and then, well, you know. Or if I forget about it, because now I've got all these orbital probes. 13, 14, 15. That's fine. All right, orbital probes. Let's scan this bitch. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Uh. All right. So, our little rover dude's got a ton of stuff he can go uh, take care of now. I can order in, let's see, 4, 8, 11, 14, 15, 18, plus 12 is another 30. Yeah, let's, um, let's order up another 30 orbital probes. Let's get this going. And it'll bring a bunch more drones out, too, because the drones are super needed for us. Oop, auto save. So we're kind of committed. I'm not going to automate the route, because that it really is a game-breaker. Anomaly analyzed. All right, and you, my little fat friend, are going to head up to here. There's more to the barren environs of the... Creative disposition and gene adaptation. So gene adaptation is new crops at the farm, and creative disposition is the art workshop. Um, as you saw in my Blue Sun Rising series, the best workshop is this one, Creative Realities. You go for this one, and you can just blitz through everything else, really. And I am going for superconducting computing because I have that extra 100 electricity. I could just start dropping power plants in a lot of spots. I like that idea. Let's do that. And we could use that extra power just to keep this, just keep the machine humming along. This area has been deep scanned. There's nothing over here. So I am going to bring over a robot. A little concrete over here. I don't know if I'm going to connect it up with piping. Or, eh, actually, a piping is the most effective way I think that we could do it. Big thing is, there's a lot of concrete over here I can get my hands on, so I should probably do that. Still got water flowing in, which is awesome. I want to find somebody who lives in the ecology. Brimming with the hive mind, there we go. 17 extra. Need to put more people into schools. That's not a good thing to have. Not enough workers. Wow, where's everybody going? Alright. Um, I don't have a passenger rocket available, but I'm going to bring down another load of people in this episode, obviously, because we need to fill things up. And 175 colonists. We're doing well. Um, we haven't even touched the mystery yet, and we are going to work on the mystery. I just want to make sure that I've got some good science and spots available. I think up here, dropping a dome for some science would be great. Let's see. Funding received. Okay, here's another $115 trillion. I can drop a dome over here. It'll be within that uh, research site. I don't think it is. Just put a dome over here by its own. All right, probes are here. Research complete. Yeah, extra research. 
All right. Let's scan this bad boy. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Breakthrough discovered. Research complete. There we go. Milestone <coughs> achieved. All right. Everything's been scanned now. So we got another quick another 2,500. We got, oh, super cables, bitchin'. Um, Loji fungi is now done. So we just, we hit through two research by doing that. We got that extra boost of 2,500 for scanning all sectors. Superior cables are awesome. And we absolutely need the MDSs to keep things going. So I want to send this guy over here to get this anomaly. Because that's all we got for research. We got one, two, three, four, five keys. And actually, I'm going to send him up here because he's already up here. Yeah, I'll send him back now. But whatever we build up here, we need a spire in it. So a network hub would be great here. And then maybe connect to another dome down here. Two research domes. Uh... Yeah, we'll take it. If they're willing to give us polymers, that's helpful for us. All right. Might as well go nuts with the power, because I can. And it's really an issue of I've got the machine parts for it. I've also got the I've got the metals, anomaly the large solar panels. Analyzed. The anomaly turned out to be one of the most well-preserved asteroid impacts in our area. No geologist could ever put a price on it. Yet we did. Earth scientists had long wondered about the effect of ancient asteroid impacts on Martian climate and geology. Several missions had been sent to gather data about these primordial events, but the landers failed. As if the Red Planet wanted to keep some of its secrets for itself. Or people confused metric and standard measurements. Generations had to pass until we managed to send a successful expedition to lift the Shroud of Mystery. With the data gathered from the site, our colleagues on Earth have, will have material for years of research. Maybe we would finally figure out whether the Martian core was shut down or it died out on its own and we'd be able to fully predict the destiny of our home world. So we got 800 million in funding, okay, and 3,000 flat research. That's actually huge. So we can use the research. Okay, so the rover's way up here. I could go with a super effective route, but I want to get this, uh, this key unlocked. And then I may just leave these two here for now. This is a great, this is going to be a great spot for a mining dome. Damn it. Some random meteor decided to crash the party. Literally. Interesting that it uh, didn't take out the vaporator or fracture the dome. Just an observation. Okay, so... We don't need 48 drones there. We need about 20 of these two. There we go. All right, we have a rocket back on Earth. Launch it. All right, so that 3,000 was a massive boost to the MDS research, which we desperately, desperately need. I kind of think we, if we put a network node up here, we'd be able to get it done faster. But at the same time, I want to build the second so the second complex where I could put more people. Yeah, we're gonna head up here, and the reasoning is for putting it on this end is the tunnel can go above it, and I can put in a metals extractor. Like way down here away from it and it would be in the range of that dome but what I'm gonna do is drop a universal down here where I just need polymers and concrete I'm gonna put 20 of each I know what I should have done actually should have sent over a drone hub prefab for this little operation. Where's Hey Hey been running around at? 
Oh, he's, he's loading up on medals. Why are you... Oh, stupid. He was probably, like, right there on the research for it, and just got called away. And so all my shuttles are zipping... They're taking resources and running them up for this construction project. Now I can build a drone hub somewhat centrally located. Drop down some solar over here or some wind power over here to give this dome something to work with. For some reason the food and rare metals and the fuel all got dropped there. They need to take that back. Because one meteor is going to take all this out. It's an ambitious project. But I have hope. Master's gonna go here. Yep. Yeah, this dome's a problem right now because there's no uh, people living in here. They can work cost 21, so I'll go for an arcology in that dome as well. Actually, I'm just going to skip that and go to the wheat. This way is a little bit of a, a differentiation. It's about every soul will be cranking out food from one of these. So it'd be, from one soul, we'll have food coming from these two. On soul three, the odd number of souls. Even number of souls? Even number of souls. We'll have them over here. This guy is busy. Liking it. Um, <gasps> yes! Everything stops. Artificial muscles has to be next. Because artificial muscles means they can carry two resources at once. It makes it so much faster to get shit done. Alright, let's go strike up the keys. That's another good spot. Two vistas. Yeah, we'll take it. I mean, if they're willing to send polymers again. This dome, I gotta figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, let's go to the colony. Have a dome connected to three others. Hmm. I know I'm going to build over here, and most likely to access this mining deposit, so let's schedule... Where's gravity engineering? It's one of these two. Damn it! I was hoping to get gravity engineering because I don't want to build anything smaller than a medium now. Too far from a drone commander. Fine. Why? Okay. Give me a slight hiccup. Because that's right over the deposit, I didn't want to have it. But I could put the extractor right on the line, which is good. Um, drone hub. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is a bad spot, actually. Because I have to, if I want to connect to this one, I can't have this here. Well, shit. Oh, well. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm still going to put the drone hub right in the middle. I'll get rid of I'll salvage these sections off. There we go. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs. There it is. Planet than meets the eye.
So we got Hanging Gardens, Gravity Engineering, 18,000. I'm taking that one. Uh, Fusion Auto Regulation and Martian Copyrights. Um, Gravity Engineering being this, uh, being only 18,000, it's going to take a few days to research, but if I get that, uh, if I get that North Dome done, it's just really going to make it easy for us. These guys also need to start dropping down some power infrastructure here. Okay. Uh, I want machine parts here. Received. <laughs> Gonna move these guys over. Oh, sweet. He's bringing metals. That's helpful. I'm gonna turn that site off for now because they have all the concrete they need. They just need all this for it. It's going to show up as a split power grid for a little while. Same time, it's going to be exactly what we need. Up here, let's start building a nice fancy dome for the people. How many people do I have? Wow. Um, did this, filter, flaws. This is what I got to do. I got to let some of these folks up. But I almost want to have a sanatorium ready and put a sanatorium in this dome. Or this dome. The idea of building more power down here kind of fell on its face with uh, my ADD deciding, oh, nope, want to go north. And unfortunately, that's all my shuttles are doing are running parts from the south end of the map. You can see the line of them. Hmm. It's not a bad idea, too. Right in this area, pretty kick-ass for a shuttle hub complex. This one's a little bit off the beaten path. Alright, drone hub. Hub's got to be on this side to work the water. Where's the little nib? There's a little nib for it. I move over a little bit. Make that a high priority, and we'll allow some electronics to get dropped down. They're just waiting on machine parts. And of course, there's a small little metals deposit here we can uh, work with. Because right now, this dome's done. Ten more concrete, she's finished. And I can even drop in atomic accumulators between these guys. And the network node absolutely is going to go in this dome. So I can uh, use numbers, so I can proceed with the artificial intelligence mystery. Because a Hawking Institute in here is going to be brilliant. Oh, I don't think the drones can actually go around to that side. That is. Alright. We are getting some renegades. I'm interested in seeing why. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the Baron and Farm Automation and Orbital Engineering. We're already getting close to the uh, the research max. Where is Sanatorium? Because I, I mentioned it a moment ago and I didn't really follow through on my thought with it. All right, so when Artificial Muscles is done, I want to get MDS's operational next, and then I'll go for Sanatorium. Gravity Engineering, 
and superior cables. Need water up here to create the fuel. There's not a lot of water in this area. There's some down here. Plenty over here. Ooh. Hello. Oh my. Yeah, I'll accept it. We really don't need much right now. It's just a matter of, okay, um, what are we in the mood to do? <clears throat> this deposit will keep the dome going. So we'll connect them up this way. The drone hub. Research complete. Sweet. That that's gonna make things go so much faster. <clears throat> All right. Our. Like that. And this is actually just extra research for us. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren and deep metal extraction. Got it late, but it's there. Also rejuvenation treatments. All right. So we've got a bunch of drones up here now. Awesome. finish up this dome once it comes online it's going to give us that warning of there's no power there's no water there's no nothing um we're going to build that uh once it's all connected up we'll uh, be able to start uh, putting all that together for us all right life support we want uh don't worry about the cables right now So we'll turn that one off. We go with our fancy Brazil dome, or ugh, never like that one. We'll go with this one. All right, piping. And once this is up, we'll start dropping some tanks and whatnot. Interesting, we have an oxygen fall-off. Anomaly analyzed. There's Behavioral melding and dream reality. So we have Project Morpheus and the sanatorium upgrade. Outsource some more. Add here, please. And now these guys are getting a big old boost. Hopefully the uh, drones will start. Yeah, there, there you go. Start driving through it. I'm gonna put all the drones available up here to go to work. I know this dome is really gonna need the support of the south, uh, the south complex to really get up and running because there's nothing up here. There's water. There's power. Okay. There we go, and let's put some, put a large O2 tank down here, and we'll put a large water tank down here as well. So have a couple moxies next to it. There are Earthsick colonists. Oh really? Why? Okay. 
Yeah, this still needs more comfort. An infirmary really doesn't help in this building, or in this dome, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Ninja Garden. Let's drop a garden in here. There's more to the barren and microfusion and moisture farming. The microfusion, um, as I've been working on this episode, I'm thinking that would go great over here. Or even just stick it up here once this deposits out. Just put a ton of that up there. Oh, this is the dome they were talking about with no life support. Whoopsies. Didn't realize this one had been finished. There we go. That's what I want. Hey! We got some applicants now. We'll drop the passage ramp over here. And I'll also build another passage between here and... Oops. There we go. And they just have to clear that site for... Oh, uh, that was the wrong uh, wrong color passage, but okay. Uh, this one is done. Alright, so we'll tear her out. There we go. Alright, this one... We're just pumping water and... Fuel into it, which is fine. These guys are charging up beautifully. And I'm realizing that I'm out of time for this episode. But here's what I'm going to do to kind of stage, uh, set the stage for the next episode. I'm going to put the network node down here. And we're actually going to start dropping down... Things that we're going to need for future episodes in here. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for taking some time out of your day to watch. I'll see you all in the next video.